A Blaine family is without a home following a large fire that drew several different fire departments to respond. The fire on 118th Avenue had its flames knocked down quickly, with 20 emergency vehicles responding to the blaze. The first arriving companies found a fully involved attached garage on, uh, on the house with fire extending into the main part of the house. And we started uh, a fire attack on the front of the structure and knocked down the fire in the garage. Uh, the fire moved into the uh, concealed spaces in the roof and the, and the uh, ceiling. And uh, our crews made entry, uh, pulled ceilings, and uh, started extinguishing the fire. In the hidden spaces, we did make a transition to defensive once the roof started collapsing on part of the structure. Uh, once we got the fire knocked down there, then we uh, re-entered the building, and now we're uh, in the process of salvage and overhaul and, and protecting the occupants' belongings. The cause of the fire has not yet been established, but the chief hopes that they will be able to identify that soon. It'll be on, under investigation for some time. It's pretty heavy damage, so that once we get this cooled off, then that'll be the next phase of our operation. Crews worked for hours on the house fire, but do not know how much of the house or the family's belongings will be salvageable. That's yeah, pretty tough to say at this point. Uh, I'm sure they'll have to have some structural engineers and insurance company make that determination of its total loss. It's heavily damaged, uh, so it'll be hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage in the loss of this one. The home was less than one mile from the closest fire station.